ethnic approved Fulton projects, including a project to prevent intrusion from Myanmar. Education ministry suspended its two staffers accused of bribery, said Nurul Islam Nahid. And the repatriation of Rohingyas to Myanmar is delayed due to incomplete arrangements. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV English Bulletin. I'm Sheila Iqbal with you at the newsroom today. You're watching the Standard Bank headlines. Now the details. The Executive Committee of the National Economic Council ethnic approved 14 projects involving Taka 6,288 crore 49 lakhs. The approval was made at a regular ethnic meeting at the NEC conference room in Taka, Sheri Banglanagar, with the committee's chairperson and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in the chair. In the approval, including a project for improving security along the bangladesh Myanmar border in Cox's Bazar and prevent insertion from Myanmar. The project title, Rehabilitation of Halters along Naf River at Ukia and Teknap Upazilas for improving the security on bangladesh Myanmar border in Cox's Bazar will be implemented at an estimated cost of Taka 1,041.65 crore by June 2020. Briefing reporters after the meeting, Planning Minister A.H.M. Mustafa Kamal said that of the total project cost of Taka 5,421.40 crore will come from the government. The Taka 741.28 crore from the project assistance while the rest of Taka 65.81 crore from respective organizations own fund. Here, beyond be a chairperson, Begum Khalidazia appeared before a special court today to place her closing argument in the ZR finished trust crack case, after completion of which the court would deliver a verdict. Earlier on January 18th, in the ZR finished trust corruptions case, lawyer Asanullah Ash on the behalf of businessman Sharifuddin Ahmed on August 8, 2011, the Anti Corruption Commission filed the Zia Charitable Trust Craft case with Tejka Police Station accusing four people, including Khalida, of raising funds for the trust from unknown sources through abuse of power. Education Minister Nurul Islam Nahid said that the Ministry of Education has suspended its two staffers accused of bribery over reopening the controversial lake at Grammar School. The move came on Tuesday, a day after the detective branch filed a case against the two staffers and the owner of Lake Head's Grammar School. The three stand accused of bribing authorities for the reopening the English medium school in Taka, which the Education Ministry closed down last year following allegations of harboring militancy. The ministry's tapers at the heart of the controversy are the education minister's aide Mutalib Hussein and Nasiruddin, a so-called upper division assistant. The ministry has ordered the directorate of secondary and higher secondary education to execute the decision against Nasir who was working on deputation. Here, the repatriation of Rohingyas to Myanmar is delayed due to incomplete arrangements, said Bangladesh Refugees Relief and Rehabilitation Commissioner Abul Kalam, according to a Bangladesh-Myanmar deal. The first phase was supposed to begin today, January 23rd. However, all arrangements could not be completed in due time. Reports, many international media quoting the officials under an agreement signed last week. Myanmar is said to receive Rohingya refugees from Bangladesh at two reception centers and a temporary camp near the common border starting on Tuesday and continuing over the next two years. The repatriation will begin slowly and gradually gain place. According to the foreign ministry sources, Myanmar will repatriate 300 Rohingyas a day at the beginning which will be increased within months. 
Dhaka University DU students today confirmed that its Vice Chancellor Professor Akhtar Zaman Bisezeng, his office demanding punishment of some student activities which allegedly harassed some of the female students that took position there around 12 p.m. after forming a human chain in front of Oporajaya Bangla and paraded the entire campus in the morning. The protesters also have been demanding withdrawal of a case file against unknown DU students and resignation of the DU proctor, who according to them took steps against the students instead of taking action against some of the students later. Viewers, that was all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with MyTV News Online, visit www.mytvbd.tv and to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecasted in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Till then, I'm Shilai Bal, taking your leave. Stay connected. Allah Hafiz.